Hmm. Well, um, sorry. Do you think we can clean the surface um, by blowing air on it? Or in other words, let's say you had a dirty car windshield and, um, and you're wondering that what if you start driving fast and will the wind blowing past the car windshield be able to clean the dirt off the surface? Well, the answer is surprising and uh, this was first given by, uh, or the key idea was first proposed by a German engineer uh, by the name of Ludwig Brandl. And uh, essentially what he proposed was as follows. Um, say this is uh, your car windshield and air is blowing past it. Uh, what he proposed was that right at uh, the interface between the windshield and where the air is blowing, which means right around this edge, um, the speed at which air is moving relative to the windshield is zero. So this is your windshield. And then over a very thin layer, the speed at which the air is moving rapidly changes to the speed at which it's blowing at a significant distance away from the windshield. And this thin layer around the windshield is called boundary layer. Okay, now, um, so the mathematics to, uh, to, to, to extract information about this boundary layer and how it manifests in real life situations. In fact, as many applications, um, it's, it's actually the formation of this boundary layer which explains why, uh, let's say when we are walking or biking on a windy day, we feel so much drag. And uh, essential, and this is essential to our, uh, to many engineering design, like in the aviation industry, uh, the wind blowing past the wings of an airplane, uh, the automobile industry, and so on. Um, so the mathematics, uh, mathematical formal, formalism that was that to to sort of capture the essence of such a thin layer, where there are some drastic changes happening in the speed at which the air is moving, uh, requires. Um, is, is, is something that cannot be solved exactly, and it requires certain approximate. Uh, it, it, it sort of necessitated uh, the development of certain approximate methods, uh, and these approximate methods um, um, are known as, um, or we can just collectively call them perturbation theory. So, uh, let me write it here. And the particular method uh, used to understand the boundary layer formation is uh, known as singular perturbation theory. Um, so, so the idea behind uh, this series of videos is to uh, to to introduce uh, uh, the concept of a perturbation concepts, uh, the basic ideas behind perturbation theory, and use them to solve simple algebraic and ordinary differential equations, uh, which will give us many of the tools that are used to solve uh, many more complicated problems. Um, and uh, um, well, hopefully that will be of some use. And uh, we'll begin with a very simple quadratic equation and uh, develop what is known as regular perturbation theory, and then work our way up to the singular perturbation theory, which will help us understand how the formation of this boundary layer. Um, so, uh, so if you're new to the channel, well, welcome. This channel itself is new. And um, we'll be doing a series of videos covering many different concepts, like, um, and, and for instance, um, We'll be talking about algebraic equations, and uh, eventually we'll need to work with complex numbers. So we'll also talk about complex numbers, um, talk about power series representations of functions, uh, ordinary differential equations, partial differential equations, and also try and cover like various applications in science and engineering. Um, yeah, so I guess see you uh, in the next video.